Welcome guys to another Profile Tree video. So today we're going to be covering the best free font websites. Now, uh, this video is being created, of course, just to give you a guide on some of the websites that offer free fonts. And of course, we would li like to change up our websites a bit, maybe freshen them up. So the best way to do it is add fonts. So. I've created this uh, little PowerPoint here just to show you uh, some of the websites that do offer free fonts. So, free fonts. Not everyone can afford the license to pay for a font uh, or even agree to buy one, of course. So if you are looking to find or, or use font within your company, or for the brand and as I said there it could be towards your website or it could be even a poster and just say a couple of blog posts that you have within the website um, you may want to just cut down on some prices as well and look for something free so there's a way to freshen up your website on a budget uh, so here we are uh, luckily there are several websites that offer free fonts and I'm going to go ahead and show you a list. So these are the websites that provide free fonts. So top of the list here, we've got Google fonts. Uh, we've got font bundles, fonts.com, uh, Behance, uh, font space, dribble, the font, urban fonts, font squirrel, and font task. Now the one that I use most commonly or all the time pretty much is font space and Google fonts. So we're going to go ahead and explore the different ones here that are provided. Uh, and we'll just check them out. Basically see what you can get for your website. Okay. So starting off with number one here. So we have the Google fonts. Now you can search up a couple of areas here. So they've got some pretty creative ones, uh, ones with different languages as well, which is great. Uh, and the list pretty much just goes on. Of course, of course, this is Google fonts at the end of the day. So you can try to find something quirky. So it does give you the language here. And of course we would want to look for just English. Let's see if I can even find it. Okay, for the meantime, we'll leave it with this, within this category. I'm not too sure if I can find it. No. Okay, uh, we'll check the categories anyway. So the, these are the categories you can get. So serif, sans serif, display, handwriting, or monospace. And then we also have some font properties that you could look through. And on top of that, let's just say we go ahead and type something. So three. So even uh, with us writing down welcome to profile tree, we can get a look and preview of some of the different fonts that are available to us. And if you go ahead and you do find the right one for you, so say we find Nunido Sans and I can go ahead and click on that and then there are 14 different sort of styles. As you can see we've got the extra light, we've got the 200 italics, there's light, light 300 italic, regular, regular, semi-bold, semi all the way down until it's black 900 italic. And it even gives us a bunch of the different like areas here where we can have whereas a common understanding of these rights freedoms basically just uh, an example of what it would look like as a paragraph so that's a great way to review how the actual site looks so or how the actual font looks for your site sorry so that's just one of the ones there, which is Google fonts. We'll go ahead and review the next one here, which is going to be fonts.com. So here's another great uh, website for fonts as well. 
And on this one as well, uh, you can get fonts for free. As well as that, you can go for paid for fonts. So there are some best sellers that they have. Uh, so of course, when you're browsing through it, you can pick the one for you. So it's as easy as using the Google fonts as well. You can go ahead and click on one that you like. And then you would go ahead and accept it. So as you can see, this one here is paid for. But we should have some web fonts that are available for free. So there's a door here. So there's a couple of different ones there. And we'll just go back. So basically, yep, yeah, th there's a bunch of different fonts that you can go ahead and choose and browse. Now, I know for a fact that uh, fonts.com, of course, does have things that they will have for sale. Uh, but there is a price range here where you can have it set to free. And so these are the ones that are for free. So if I click on that, I should be able to go ahead and download one of these. Uh, they have, I do believe, at least 1800 uh, styles that are free to use. And of course, it goes up within the price range. Uh, so it can get a little bit pricey for some, but this would be one to use as well. Uh, I personally don't use this myself, fonts.com, um, but I do like to use awesome fonts. But we'll go through the list here. Okay, so moving on to the next one here, we've got the font bundles and there are a lot of free fonts that you could use for your website. So uh, as you can see on your left side there, we've got some popular uh, popular categories and there's even free Valentine Day fonts that you could download. And we've got some free brush fonts as well. There's some serif fonts and they even have logo fonts, which is great. So you can go ahead and download them from here. Uh, we've, if we explore the site here, we can see they've even got some script fonts as well. So pretty much just uh, go ahead and explore the site and just see what you can get for yourself for free. Here's our next one here, which is called Dribble. So these are the free fonts that you can get as well. So it even shows you an example of how it can be advertised or how it could be used. Uh, so, as you can see, that these are actually created by some of the people here. So this is uh, created by Roberto, and this is a free font that you could use, which is great. And you could even hire the guy if you want to. So that's some some of his other uh, fonts that he's created as well. And you can go ahead and explore. Dribble is one of the more popular sites to use for free fonts as well. So there's a couple of the uh, ones that are listed and it looks like there's a couple made by Mr. Mockup. So that's by Dribble themselves. So yeah, pretty much just go ahead and explore some of the different areas here or some of the different ones that they have. And you can easily download it by just clicking on the save shot. And then of course you would want to go ahead and sign in and download. So you got to make sure you watch out for the ones that are uh, saying it's free. Uh, just so you can make sure you download the right one. So you could save that, you could share that, you could like it. It's up to you. So yes, that's pretty much Dribble there. Our next one is going to be Behance or Behance. Uh, now, they've got a few really cool fonts as well. Now, not all of it is free. Uh, so here's one here. Uh, just hook. Uh, of course, you got to make sure that you're looking at the areas there that says free font. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And you can go ahead and save it as well. So there's a uh, example of it being used. And there's a couple of different ways you can implement the design to your website. So 
there are a couple of other ones as well. All you would need to do is just have a good look through the entire website. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, Behance there. Next in line, we've got Urban Fonts. Now, another great uh, platform here to get some free fonts. And as you can see, if you just scroll down, you can go ahead and simply download them. And if I do go ahead and click download, I'll get a zip file on the bottom, just like the other ones as well, of course. So there's uh, the Casa. I'll go ahead and save that for later on uh, when we're going to go ahead and upload them into our actual website. So there's a couple of there. Uh, so feel free to scroll about and check out the entire website. Next up in line, we've got the font. So it's a little bit old school, this uh, website, but nonetheless, it is still a free uh, place to actually grab some fonts that you'd want. So there's one there. Uh, we can go ahead and click download and it'll just come up as a zip file and you can go ahead and save that. So just like the other ones, this one's a more simplistic uh, area to actually grab some font that you, you may want. So I highly recommend the font if you want to go ahead and visit that. Okay, so the next one here is Fontask and this is another great website to get some fonts that you want. Uh, so as you can see, it's just uh, listed out there. We'll close that ad. So there's ST1 and then it's pretty much just a modernized website. So you can go ahead and download them all. So that's just whatever option you want to pick for. Uh, they've got a variation of different categories as well. So they've got it all there. So display, handwritten, sans serif, and then you can go ahead and just search them. As you can see. So a couple of cool fonts there. Uh, so have fun checking out the font task. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, so this one here is Font Squirrel. Uh, from what I know is they do offer like an OTT o or OTTF uh, font. Uh, so yes, or OTF fonts, and they are free for commercial use as well. Uh, so I, again, like the other ones, it's just click and save. So just like that, go ahead and download it off the site. So. Looks like with this one, it's not available, but you can't, can't get a preview from it. So that's one thing about the actual site there. So there's the OTF for the Sans Pro, and then that's downloaded there, as you can see. So just depending on each one, of course, some of them are paid for and some of them are free. So you could just go ahead and take a look at the font squirrel and if they should have the font that you may want. And you also have a list here for fine fonts. So they've even got one for retro. A couple of cool ones there, as you can see. And you can just go ahead and click and download them. Okay, so uh, moving on. So the this is the very last one here that I wanted to show you. And this is font space. Now... Uh, this is the one that I primarily use. It's a great platform, I think, just to grab the font that you want. And you can even search anything up, pretty much, just so we just say I was creating like an artist website. It'll give me ones that are to do with the name artist, as you can see. So a couple of cool ones there. Um, even if we type in retro, we should get something to do with a retro look. Like so, as you can see, there's retro version. And then it's as simple as just clicking the blue circle button. And you can go in ahead and download it. So now that I've actually shown you how to uh, download these and how to, or what websites to use, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you it in action. So... Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and download the retro signature. And just remember this for next time. I'm going to go ahead and create a Wix website and add some of the fonts in. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we have an example for a website. So 
I'm going to go ahead and change the actual text as I don't want to use them anymore. So the way to do that is we're going to go ahead and use some of our text that we've used. So we'll use the retro signature one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and double click on the pinned item here for the text. And what we want to do is click on fonts. Now we'll have an area we'll, which will say upload fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and upload fonts. So what I'll do is I'll go to my downloads. So you ca can't see the background at the minute, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make sure that this is what's the word extracted file is extracted. So I'm just working here in the background, just going to extract that file into downloads okay so what i'm going to do is click upload fonts click my retro signature one use the otf and you'll see straight away retro signature 20 dok otf so that's one of the ones that we up, uh, downloaded from the font space i do believe it was yeah it was font space so then that'll do its thing it'll upload and once that's completed, it'll give a go ahead and tick. So the, this could apply to any other ones, really. Uh, you can do, use it for any other websites, it's not just with Wix. So if I go ahead and click done, and at the minute it is highlighted as Times New Roman. Now, if I go ahead and search for the retro signature, that'll change to the retro signature. And as you can see, I can even change the font sizing and that's how it'll look if I go to preview. So it looks a lot better in my eyes. So that's just a quick example there. And that's just a quick little video on the types of different fonts that you could use for free. Hopefully this video has helped. And if you guys have any questions at all, just leave them in the comment section below. Okay, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much guys.